the water cycle. Droplet lives at the bottom of the ocean. Down there, there is nothing but water. But Droplet has been told that up above, beyond the surface, there is a different world, completely dry. Droplet is very curious and decides to rise to the surface to see the outside world. sun's rays, Droplet feels lighter and lighter, until he turns into a vapour and rises up into the sky. This is called evaporation. It's the same process as when we heat up water to make tea. It must be quite common, as it happens to all the little droplets that reach the surface of the water. Between them, the little droplets form a cloud. The wind carries the cloud beyond the sea, over the fields and towns. When they get cold, the droplets fall from the cloud in the form of raindrops. They fall on our heads and water the crops. Drops of water trickle down to a stream, which soon becomes a great river. Finally, the river crosses the entire country to reach the sea. Our friend Droplet has returned home after a journey of thousands of kilometers. Most of the Earth's surface is covered in water. Water is the only element found on Earth in the three forms of matter. It comes as a solid in the form of ice and snow, as a liquid in the form of rain and in rivers and seas, and as a gas in the form of clouds at the entrance to volcanoes and from the spout of boiling kettles. Although it is always changing in form and appearance, the amount of water on our planet never changes. This circling and conservation of water on Earth is called the water cycle.